Good morning, everybody. Uh, you have just shown a house and they say they want to write an offer. There's no other offers on the house right now. Uh, it's, it's go time, okay? So I'm going to run you through how to write an offer in a quick amount of time because writing an offer is not that big a deal. It's very easy and with a little bit of practice, you can do it in probably less than 10 minutes, okay? So we're going to go into Matrix right now. We're going to find that house that you just showed that your client loves. Let's just say it's in West Seattle because that's where I live. Navigate to it on the map, I guess. This, yeah. Here's the house. Okay. So they want to buy this house. You go to the listing, and here's a great shortcut. See this little button right here, Transaction Desk? Click it. All right, so that's going to take you straight into, it basically tells the MLS, hey, I'm writing an offer on this house. So it'll set it all up for you. Pop up a little screen right here that'll ask you to say, you know, confirm. Okay, this is the address. Uh, we're not even going to use a template. Residential sale, selling broker. That's, that means you're representing the buyer. Create. All you got to do is hit create. All right, of course, it's thinking a little bit. Okay, so it just populates the information of that particular house, has a little basic info on where it is, the year built, and stuff like that. Let's say your client say, hey, we're just going to come in a little under that list price, $555. Just type in the purchase price, hit next. Here, the purchase and sale agreement date, we'll just make it today. Today's September 30th. And let's just say, hey, we're going to sign this right away and give it to them. We can let it expire tonight. Closing date, buyer already checked with, the, with their lender. They're good to go. They want one month. We'll make it close on November 1st, okay? Give that lender an extra day or two. All right, contact. So here's here's you're going to add. Let's say you haven't written an offer with these people before. Click on add, create, create new transaction contact. And you're going to say, okay, this is a buyer. Uh, somebody buying a house. Okay, and this is their contact info. Click save, that's all you gotta do. Bang, it pops up right there. So make sure you're on there as the selling broker, you got the buyer, and that's all you need in the contacts. Hit next, forms. Now we're gonna add, what forms, uh, this is a single family house, so we're just gonna add the, the usual suspects, okay? So this is just like a regular old sale, so we're gonna do a 21, that's the person's sale agreement, then we're gonna get the 22A, because they're going to get a loan. 22D, we always include that one. And then, you know, okay, so for the J, 22J and 22K, that kind of thing, let's see if they provide it. This looks like an older house, so it probably should have a 22J. Yeah, built 1948. So they should have a 22J, but they don't. That's fine. If they don't have it, I don't add it. Um, uh, they can add that if they want to represent, you know, if there's that base paint or if they've tested for that. Um, so, yeah. So, we won't add the 22J. We won't add the 22K. Uh, they don't, let's say we're going to put the, the title contingency in there. And then, you know, we're going to do our inspection. Very typical offer. There's no competition. So, we're not trying to win any awards, stripping out all the contingencies. We're just going to leave them all in there. All right, so now that you've, that you've identified what forms you're going to use, you click on the purchase and sale agreement, and we're just going to fill this out real quick. So um, it already populated what we told them the buyer and the expiration date was. Uh, you know, we check on the listing, okay, what, what appliances are, um, are included, dishwasher, garbage disposal, microwave, range, fridge. Okay, so everything except there's no washer and dryer, right? So, yeah. Ah, come on now. Dishwasher, microwave. I think you said garbage disposal too, right? There we go. Let's just write that one in. I've never had anybody strip out the garbage disposal, but someday it'll happen, right? So they're putting in 10000 earnest money. For me, I always just tend to put check wire, just in case the buyer wants to do either one, because I usually um, leave that option open. Closing agent is gonna gonna take the earnest money, um, the title contingency. I gotta 
title contingency, who do they want? First equity, no, equity title of Washington. Okay. Never even heard of that. All right, so there's your title and your closing agent. You have your closing date. There's no funny business, so we just get the property as soon as it closes. Uh, yeah, we want the utilities paid off at closing. Uh, and yeah, if there's anything weird uh, for charges and assessments, we want them to pay it off. I don't know what's going on here. All right. As far as um, seller, you know, seller citizenship on their um, listing, they don't have a 22E and they don't say anything about it. So we leave that blank and the seller can fill that out. Each side has a broker and then we're going to fill in our addendum. the ones that we already identified in that in that one first screen where we're adding the forms that we're going to use so there you go they're right there we're not going to go over the language right now this is just for filling out a contract all right so that was the purchase and sale agreement now we got a couple of addendums i don't know if it's addendums or addenda or addende or somebody let me know when they study latin but let's say yeah these people are going to do a five percent down conventional loan and they're going to give themselves five days to complete the application and, you know, lock in the lender and everything. So we're going to check this first box and just say, hey, you know, give us 21 days to get our financing in order. And then if you really bugged about us, you can, you know, give us the notice. And OK, and this is let's say, hey, yeah, we want uh, five thousand dollars for closing from the seller. OK, so we're going to pop that in there in that section. All right, that's good for that form. That was the financing contingency. And here we got the optional a clauses addendum. All right, we always check this first box because we don't want anybody suing us because the square footage is off by a little bit. Uh, title insurance, we don't click this. I don't click it because it's built into the purchase and sale agreement. And I've been advised by title officers that it's better to not click the these boxes on the 22D. So we're just going to say, yeah, seller, seller you got to clean. You got to get rid of all your junk. As far as utilities, let's check that listing real quick. What were the utilities? Was there gas? No, there's no gas. So it's just going to be water, sewer, electricity, and leave it at that. All right, uh, clicking through, I don't click any of these other things for a house, so we're all done. Uh, now the identification of utilities I don't fill that out we just leave that blank we can fill that out later after we get it under contract the title contingency yeah we're gonna look at the title for five days after you give it to us that's when our timeline starts if we have an issue with you you can resolve it five days after we let you know so that's the 22 T and now the inspection addendum this is like the big, you know, get out of jail free card where you can kick the tires as much as you want during this period. And then the transaction really tightens up when, when you're done. So on a typical, you know, buy, I will have a five day inspection contingency. Uh, since that's a timeline of less than it's six days or less then that's business days. So that's five business days, which means generally one week. Um, and uh, but if you go under contract on a weekend, like a Saturday, or a Sunday, then you'll only have until Friday. Okay, so that's one thing to know. It's not like an honest week. It'll end, it'll end on a Friday if you go under contract during the weekend. Okay, and we, if, we have, if we need an extra inspection, give me two extra days for that. You have two days to respond once I let you know what we need from the inspection, and then we have two days to respond to you after that and wrap up the deal. Repairs, uh, you gotta do those three days before closing. All right, so those are all the forms. Click next. These are the documents that the um, listing agent has uploaded. So they got a form 17. So that'll pop up when we get into the signing. So here on the right side, you got these buttons. These are all to do with your transaction that you're working on right now, okay? So like, for instance, forms here, that's the forms for this transaction. Whereas I click, if I click on this forms link right here, that's going to put me back to all the forms in general, right? So we're, we're trying to stay within this transaction. So I hit forms. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Hit signings. So that's what we're doing next. We're signing. Add 
and then 2205 Southwest Myrtle offer. That's what I'll write in. Save. And it already knows what to do. It says like, okay, yep, who's your participants? On this one, since there's no 22J, I would have to sign the 22J, so I would click, click myself and put myself as a signer, but that form isn't in here, so I don't have to sign anything. I'm just sending it to my buyer. Let's click on documents. We're gonna add all of these, the 21, the financing, optional, utilities, title, inspection. We have the Form 17, and this is their legal description. Yeah, that's the legal description. So we're leaving all that in there. Hit Add, and it's just going to fill it all in for you. Oh, man, we're, we're on top of 10 minutes. I was hoping we could do this in 10 minutes, but we're pretty close now. So um, just so you know, I always put the legal right immediately after the contract, the, the forms, and the Form 17, if there's a 22E, I put those last because those you don't attach to the contract. You don't attach them to the purchase and sale agreement. Whereas the legal description is part of the contract. Kind of, uh, I don't know, splitting hairs maybe, but. Then we click design. It's thinking a little bit. All right, so, and we just review everything, right? So one of the things that we might do is, um, you know, the closing date, we've set that for 30 days, but maybe we wanna act like, oh yeah, no, we can close earlier, we think. You know, that's like the, the worst case scenario. So then you might click in for sooner there, right? Let, let the seller know, hey, yeah, we want to close this as soon as possible. So uh, anyways, yeah, we got everything filled in from the previous screens. Now we're just going to scroll through, make sure everything's on here. You know, this is not a multiple offer situation. So we just leave in like this verification period, for instance, uh, the, the financing a contingency. Yeah, everything looks good. We just filled it out. Um, now when they add their own document, so for instance, the legal description, okay, then we have to drag in an initial on the legal and date it. And then we go to the form 17, uh, you know, you, you look all at all this with your, with your client, everything looks fine. You say, okay, Hey, I got it. I got the form 17 and you're done. You hit next, send invitations. Wow, there you go. So that is how you write an offer on a single family home when there's no competition. And it's pretty easy.